Hey everybody, this is Pastor Shane Pooler with your Monday Morning Moment. I wanted to take a moment this Monday morning to share with you uh, a few thoughts from yesterday's uh, message. Yesterday I preached a message entitled, See and Say, and it came to us from Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 through 9. This is a time when um, Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration, and Elijah, Moses, and Jesus are there. Jesus is being changed into his glorified state, and Peter, James, and John are there observing what is going on. What took place there was so impactful in those disciples' lives that it, it, that it literally impacted, it literally changed who they would become. Now they couldn't see that because they were in the moment. But later on in their life, we can read in 1 Peter and also in 1 John, how those two men were impacted by that um, by that moment and by that experience, they, as they rehearse and they recount what took place, uh, and they struggle to describe uh, the experience that they were having. What I wanted to share with you here this morning is that I believe wholeheartedly that these types of encounters are there and they're provided for us and we go through them because God is wanting to change us from who we are to whom he sees us as being. When you look at uh, the word transfigure or transfiguration, it comes from the Greek word metamorpho. And it's broken down, meta mean the year after, morpho mean to change into, thus the word metamorphosis means to change into the year after. What you see, you can become and you will become. If you are persuaded of the promises that are set before you and you pursue them and you embrace them, you see those, it is going to help you get through what it is that you're going through in your life right now. If you see yourself in the future in God's plan, you can become what you see. The problem that we have with our world today is that people are caught up in the moment and they're stuck right here where they're at. Their circumstances, their troubles, the, ba the boundaries and the, and the limitations that they have, they're stuck in those and they don't have the ability to see themselves on the other side of the problem. But I'm here to tell you what God is trying to encourage us with is he wants us to see ourselves fulfilling the promises that are laid out before us. Remember the scripture tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20, in the King James Version, it says, For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. In the 20th century New Testament version of this same verse, chapter 1, verse 20 of 2 Corinthians, the Bible says, For many are, or for many as were the promises of God. God gave many promises, but in Christ is the yes that fulfills them. Therefore, through Christ again, let the amen arise through us to the glory of God. In other words, when we see ourselves on the other side of the situation, fulfilling the promises of God, the promises being fulfilled in us, it empowers us to go through what it is that we're going through. In other words, when Jesus was standing on the Mount of Transfiguration, which was approximately six months prior to the crucifixion, he seen himself arise on the third day. This empowered him to face the cross. You see, when you can see yourself standing in the finished blessings of God, it doesn't matter what you're going through here because we know that these troubles and these circumstances are only for a moment. They're only for time. This is why the apostle Paul could say, Everything he had attained, he could count as dung for the knowledge of Christ. He could say, he could see himself on the other side of those situations. No matter what it was that he went through, we know that Paul embraced the promises of God. And that's what I want you to understand here today. I want you to know that it doesn't make any difference. Well, I know it, let me rephrase that. I know it makes a difference what you're going through right now because it's real, you're in the moment. But I want you to remember that there are so many promises that God has given us. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. He is not man that he should lie. He hears us when we pray. He is faithful and just, amen? 
I want you to realize that God is looking out for you. He does not see you in your old man state. He sees you in the completed form. Oh, if we could get a hold of that, if we could understand that when we look into the mirror to stop seeing ourselves in our present state and see through the eyes of Christ what we will become as the promises are fulfilled in Jesus Christ. That's what I want to encourage you to do this week. Look beyond your present. See the promises that God has made to you. See them and walk towards them. Pursue those promises because they will be fulfilled as you submit your life to Jesus Christ. So I hope this has been a blessing to you this week. And I hope to maybe see you next Sunday morning. So this is Pastor Shane Pooler from the Highway Church in Kennewick, Washington with your Monday morning moment. Have a blessed, productive, and wonderful week. God bless you.